Hey, what's going on to all of my Scorpios out there? So let's get into it. Hope y'all are having a great day. So for the Scorpios, we have the Five of Pentacles, Ooh. Mm. Four of Swords, Queen of Cups, the Devil, Page of Wands, Two of Wands, yep, the Hanged Man, the Sun, the Knight of Cups, and last but not least, the Four of Wands. So, what I'm seeing here for you, Scorpios, no major arcana so far to represent Scorpio. Um, but the Five of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Queen of Cups, walking away from walking away from the relationship scene eh, for a few weeks, just so that you can have um a better mindset later, right? Four of Swords, you can rest, rejuvenate your energy, recharge, begin speaking to other people, is most definitely a, a good idea, right? Five of Pentacles, Four of Swords, running towards refuge, running towards a peace of mind, a better peace of mind. Um, you could even potentially be running towards somebody else. <laughs> You could be running towards this Queen of Cups, which represents somebody else. Now, I'm going to say this. I don't necessarily think that's exactly what it is that you're doing. I don't think that you Scorpios have anybody in mind. I just think that a lot of you Scorpios are more so running, like just staying away from uh, situations and ideas that seem like they are a bad idea even from the jump right to be by yourselves because the queen of cups if you ever seen if you've ever seen the queen of cups in different art in different uh, iterations or artwork right let me show you the queen of cups <clears throat> let me show you from the game of thrones to row let me show you what i'm talking about the queen of cups Right, the Queen of Cups, see, is a person. It's Sansa Stark from in this iteration, and it's a person who is very much so thinking to themselves and meditating as to what's going on. Right, so this isn't necessarily this means that it's somebody that you're that you're running to. These three cards show me that it's more so of a peace of mind that a lot of you Scorpios are actually getting to. A lot of you Scorpios are walking away from just kind of dating as of right now. It doesn't necessarily uh, look so um, good to you as of right now. So a lot of you Scorpios are doing what it is that you're supposed to and walking away. S still, we're at a point in time where we've we only have like two weeks left, basically. Until, you know, today is the 12th and the next couple of days, you know, next two days, Thursday is the, the 15th. We're literally at a point where we're, we're coming up on half of the month being done, you know. So we really, when you really think about it, we only have two weeks left up until January 2023. The year, the next, the new year is approaching very quickly. Things are kind of winding down. Things are winding down over here in New York. So a lot of you Scorpios pretty much have the, the very good idea of just waiting until next year, right? Waiting until next year. The economy is actually the worst during January anyway. That's a fact. That's a statistical fact. Go look it up. And a lot of you Scorpios just know what time it is. So you know, you Scorpios know that any kind of, so any kind of anyone that's giving you a bad feeling, making your stomach hurt, causing you stress, right? Giving you stomach pains. A lot of you Scorpios are looking at it from a perspective of you're not going to hang around these people. You're going to, you're, the first thing that you're going to do is, is excommunicate them because a lot of you Scorpios know you don't want to be hanging around with them the first, right? Coming into the new year. Because that's going to immediately set the precedent for how the new year is going to be. The devil and the page of wands represents this being a situation for you where, um, again, you don't want to attach yourself.
to these people. You're setting, Page of Wands, you're setting yourself free from this. Anybody that's in 2022, dysfunctional, a lot of you Scorpios already know what it is. You can't have these people around coming into the new year, especially not when springtime and summertime step in. Y'all too start having, you know what I mean? You Scorpios start having fun. The next thing you know, you got all these dysfunctional people, right? Friends and past, you know, relationship partners. They break up with you for the summer because they want to do something else or whatever the case may be or, you know, something else. Hang out with other people and then they come back and try to see if you're still interested for the cold or weather. Again, a lot of you Scorpios are like, look, you not hanging out with these people. You're going to enjoy your entire new, your entire 2023 coming. And they're not a part of it. The two of wands is that some of these people can't, they don't want to hear all of that. And they're still trying to stay in your life, even though you're dropping them some hints. So the, so the hangman, right? Hangman, what do you do? You tell them directly what it is that you've got going on. Otherwise, they're going to they're gonna make it seem like they're not understanding your little hints. This is, this is part of the reason why I don't believe that stuff. When people say you can you can do better with trying to catch people, trying to catch bees with honey than with vinegar. I don't believe any of that stuff, because when when you don't tell somebody directly what's going on, people, when they want something. See, see, here's the thing. When they want you to know what's going on. They, they want you to get the hint. When, when they're up, they want to get disrespectful. But then when you're trying to slowly but surely be cold, freeze them out, and kind of detach yourself from them, they become even more attached. They, they get even more attached to the situation. And what happens? They act like they don't understand. So all of that trying to use, you know, stuff like this, you know, trying to use you know, telling people and sugarcoating certain things, that's irrelevant. What you Scorpios need to do is be a classic Scorpio selves. And if you don't want to have them around, and these are people who, who, who are in your life a little bit too long, you let them know, look, you need to leave. Why? Because I'm not bringing you along in 2023 with me. If they don't have a problem, if they have a problem with it, who cares? You get to decide. If these people are going to be in your life or not, it's your life. Right, because some of these people already started to look at you like the reason why the relationship isn't going so well is because of you, Scorpios, and they may be scapegoating you. They may be blaming you, even though it's not really your fault like that. So the sun is you want to make sure you're like this. Coming into 2023. With no, with with someone not putting their their nonsense onto your shoulders, because that's what essentially karma is. It's when people keep trying to blame you for all of their faults, their follies, their shortcomings, and now all of a sudden them trying to make it so that you are the one ultimately who takes the fall for that, because they then because then they have a scapegoat or a doormat which they could put all the blame on in their life onto. You want to make sure that you coming in in 2023 blame less because you have none of the blame from other people on you. The only blame that you have on you is the blame you already put onto yourself that you learn to, to get rid of or forgive yourself from. The nine of cups and the four of wands represent. So what does this mean? This means that some people, it means that you're going to have to walk into 2023 by yourself. The Four of Wands. And this means that you're going to have to walk into it only with the people that you deem trustworthy. So they may be less, less in friends, less in romantic relations, less in family. If you know these are people that you should have decided to stop hanging out with, 
then you know, then you already know what time it is. So let's clarify. Let's clarify the devil as if we don't know what that means. But we need to clarify it so we can get a better understanding. To clarify the devil, we have the world, which is Capric which is another Capricorn card. So strong Capric uh, Capricorn influence. The Knight of uh, the Knight of Wands, the Moon, the Sun. To clarify the devil. So right. So the world, the Knight of Wands is these people looking at you like you need to be there for them coming into the new year and treating them well through next year. They, so they're putting a lot. So these are people who you may be in a relationship with, may have been in one with recently, you know, who putting a lot of weight on your shoulders, who may be putting a lot of weight on your shoulders because some of you Scorpios may still be with them. Now, again, I'm not reading for all Scorpios, just like I don't read for all of the zodiac signs, regardless of the one I'm saying, if this resonates with you, then this is your situation, right? So um, they're putting a lot of they're putting a a, a lot of uh, responsibility on your shoulder. The Knight of Wands, they're basically their whole desire to be happy, their whole happiness is on your shoulders. The Moon and the Sun <laughs> is is not. It should be it should be like this, but really, but the position is like this. So the moon and the sun, you got to understand what you've got going on. And a lot of you Scorpios, what a lot of you Scorpios got going on is you Scorpios need to need to really have a serious, truthful moment with yourselves and realize that the partner that you're with may not really be for you. And be, yeah, it may not be your good match. And then you have the sun. You may need to let them go because they're not getting the hint, nor will they really ever get the hint. Because it's benefiting them. Trust me, I've seen people come over, act like they're not getting the hint. But, but with me, they're oh, super dismissive and you need to get the hint. This, that, and the third. Why is it that getting the hint only works one way? Which is, which is what? More plain. And what have I said about plain? It's just, a, it's just another BS waste of time where people show you their dysfunction because they can't, they're not brave enough to, to nor right? They're not brave enough to say, this is what it is that I want directly to the person and will the person give it to me yes or no so i gotta go all around the world doing a bunch of stuff that makes absolutely no sense and have the other person look at me a certain kind of way <laughs> let's clarify let's clarify the the hanged man <sighs> The Wheel of Fortune, mm. the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Cups, Seven of Wands, Four of Cups, amazing. These, these are about how you Scorpios take back your own power by understanding that these people are not built for you. So you stop talking to them. You stop hanging around them. And all of this sense of entitlement that they had, you're going to see how things switch very quickly. Because now all of a sudden, they're trying to do certain things to get your attention. You will be telling them to, to, you will be telling them no, or you won't have to say anything to them at all for them to still try to get your attention. Here they are trying to offer you something. <laughs> so, so with all the self-importance that they have, all you Scorpios need to do, excuse me, is pull back your own attention and see how fly they think themselves are, right? Now they start offering the world to you 
on a silver platter and this, that, and the third, and this, 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 and this. Let's clarify the sun. <clears throat> Let's clarify the sun. The hanged man, the temperance, the seven of cups, five of pentacles, right? You, you Scorpios know what it is. You know that, you know, some of these people putting all this responsibility on your shoulder, they're just, they're just trying to make you, you know, uh, a scapegoat for all of their, their happiness and lack thereof. And, and, you know, that's something that they're going to have to do. Their own happiness is their own happiness. And that's why it's called self-esteem. Them trying to keep a, a leash on you and trying to keep tabs and you know, not wanting to have anybody, you know what I mean? Um, not wanting you Scorpios to go anywhere. Them being super attached is not a matter of love. It's a matter of control. You Scorpios knew, know this. The Seven of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, you just started to lose some respect for them because, you know, they, you know, to you Scorpios, you Scorpios restraint, you, you, you Scorpios respect power. And for them, they, you know, they, they're just showing how it is that, you know, they don't really have a whole lot of power. They don't really have a whole lot of self-control because at the end of the day, the only thing that they could really ultimately do is just try to, like, convince the other person that the other person needs them around. So essentially, it ends up being like an attachment issue, you know. So <laughs> that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I know that was one ride, right? But it's, it's, you know, it's something else. It's something else. When you start to really learn your value, you start to see how it is that like people, you know what I mean? The, the type of things that they do and the type of things that they say is not necessarily what you originally thought. You would think that they were the, 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 the big one on campus. But then when you really start to pay attention, right? This is why I say that Scorpio with the whole power thing is irrelevant. Not not irrelevant, excuse me. It's relative. And that with the whole power thing, you got to watch power and you got to really pay attention to it. And how when you choose, when you choose to to play other people's into other people's hands, how it is that you you know, you're the one with the power. But that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video trying to make this YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers. As of right now, I just have uh, 3,656 subscribers as we speak, probably more by now. I don't, I don't know. But please comment on the video. Excuse me, but please hit the subscribe button so you can so, so you could subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. And set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop these videos. Peace.